Welcome to the Carbon Channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Concert Series C3248. This is a really compact frame console that packs all of the power and the punch of a big frame console into a really small and functional frame. In today's game, with the economy, we really can't afford to be bringing around giant consoles with extra power supplies that take four guys to load on the truck. Everybody's looking for a smaller, more powerful console. This fits the bill. This is a great console because it's in a small frame, but it's acting like a big console. It's taking a lot of big console features and fitting them into a very compact frame that one person can carry under their arm, which is uh, quite impressive for the list of features this has. Here's what we have on this console that you really don't see on any other small frame consoles. What we have is a sweepable parametric high mid EQ. That's something you really only see on a very high-end and expensive console. We also have a parametric sweepable low mid. So you've got your high, your high mid, and your low mid, and then you also have a low. So it really gives you a lot of versatility in your EQing. If you've got a 2K ring somewhere, you can actually find it and pull it out here without having to go to your EQ. You can actually pull it out on the channel. Each channel has that EQ on it, as well as six independent monitor mixes. Now, there are other small frame consoles that allegedly can do six monitor mixes, but all of them have a quarter inch jack where you have to flip between four and three, and you have to subgroup, and you have to do all of these things that give the illusion that you're getting six mixes, but you can't really ever get all six mixes at once. On this console, you have six monitor outputs with six XLR monitor direct outs that go directly to your amplifiers. So you truly are getting six real monitor mixes. And that's important because in this day and age, a lot of people are using in-ears. There's a lot more monitor mixes on stage than there once were. It's tough to get away with four monitor mixes anymore on a small show. So that's a great feature, very powerful, and something you usually don't see in a smaller frame console. Another thing that's really impressive on here is you have two separate onboard effects. Now there's a 24-bit dual stereo effect section on here that allows you to add reverb to one channel and delay to another. And you can actually send them independently to front of house and monitors. There are a lot of singers that like to hear their own reverb in their own monitors. That can be really complicated if you've got a front of house console and a monitor console and all your effects are out in the front of house rack. This eliminates that situation and allows you to throw reverb right into the monitors from your front of house mix. So that's a great time saver, a great saver of a, a whole nother rack of, of effects, a lot of cabling and a lot of setup time. So that's a great thing to have on here as well. And then at the bottom, we've obviously got our pan, so you can pan left and right, and our faders. Uh, you've also got your subgroups on here. There are four subgroups, okay? Now, on most consoles, when you send to the subgroups, that's it, end of story. You go to the subgroup and there you are. On this console, it allows you to add compression to the subgroup. So let's say we're doing a rap act, okay? We've got two guys that are just screaming into the microphones. They're clipping the channels, they're overdriving everything. What you would do with that is you would bring the gain down to a, a, as manageable a point as you could, and then you would send it to subgroup one. In subgroup one, you would then bring your compression into play, and you would be able to compress the vocals on a hip hop rap artist on a lavalier microphone with someone who's screaming, anyone that's overdriving their microphone, you can solve that by using the compression in the subgroup section. So it's a really handy way of doing it. Instead of trying to have compression available on every single channel, they've just made it available on the four different subgroups. So you would actually group anything that you were having issues with compression-wise into a subgroup, and that really simplifies everything, and once again, eliminates a whole nother rack of gear. Uh, another thing that's available on this console is we've got two onboard EQs. Let's say we're really just doing a throw and go and we don't want to bring any racks. You can use the, the top EQ to run your left, right, front of house system, and you can use the bottom EQ, each of them being nine bands, to take out any bad frequencies that you're having issues with in the monitors. And it's really important to have a separate EQ on your monitors, because if you're having a 2K feedback in the monitors, it doesn't necessarily mean you want to take all the 2K out of front of house. It just means you want it out of the monitors. So having two separate EQ sections really enables you to do that without having to really mess up your front of house sound. 
Other things on here that are really convenient is we've got USB power ports, okay? What that means is if you're gonna run an iPod as your background music, you can actually plug the iPod in here to power it up and then run it into two of the channels here and you'll basically be able to let your iPod run all day in the background without worrying about the batteries dying and all you need to do is just bring it up on your faders when you wanna use it. You don't have to leave it running the whole time, but you can leave the battery power going, which is, you know, we have seen that in this day and age with people showing up with iPods at gigs and halfway through the gig the battery dies and you're out of music. So it's nice to have that power port on there as well as Carvin also carries some pretty cool LED lights that can come out of there and you can use those to light your consoles as well. So they're a multi-use port and very, very functional in day-to-day in -day use. Um, another thing on this console, and I just used this on the Demi Lovato gig, and I really, really appreciated this. Um, a lot of times a console will have a left right out, and they'll just have a master B or something. On this console, there's a mono sub out. So here's what you do with that. You mix your show the way you're doing it with your left right. You have all your compressors and all your monitor mixes going. And then what you do is you take your mono sub out, which has its own XLR out, and you can take that and run it into your crossover to your subs and then you can independently pump the subs without affecting your main mix. And a cool thing about that is that section is post fader. So what that means is as you turn up the left and right front of house, that sub signal is going to increase incrementally with those faders. So you don't have to mess with it unless you really want to goose it. And if you do, you can just goose the subs without having to kill everybody in the room by turning the whole rig up. I found that to be really useful when I used this last week on the Demi Lovato gig uh, that we did in Glendale. It was something where there was a lot of low end in one of these tracks, but I didn't want to change the mix that I had going through the, the rig. So all I really needed to do was jack my mono sub a little bit and brought the, brought the subs to the room and I didn't change the mix at all, didn't change the monitor mix. Great feature to have in a small console. Alright, let's talk about the wireless capabilities of this console. This console has the ability to patch two wirelesses to the right side of the console and two wirelesses to the left side of the console. Once you've inserted the wireless units that are sold by Carvin, you can get the Carvin microphones and the wireless receivers with the antenna packs all in one inclusive pack and then you will have four onboard wireless microphones. It's an incredibly simple thing for going out and uh, once again doing a lot of corporate events, doing things where you're going to have people on handheld mics running around. It's great to be able to have four of them built into the console. It's an amazing feature and I've never seen that on any other console before. It's very compact. It saves you, once again, a whole rack of wireless gear you don't need to bring. You just need to bring your mic box with your four wireless mics because your receivers and everything are going to be built into the console. So it's a great thing to think of when you're first purchasing the console to get as many wireless units as you may think you may need in the future because you could have them all on board and at any gig. You could have wireless mics for anything. And the great thing is, too, you could be using two wirelesses and have two backups. So, which is really important in live scenarios where batteries are going down, things are happening, people are dropping microphones. It's important to have backup units when you're using wireless. So this gives you the ability to include four wireless units in the console built in. That's pretty cool. So we've found more features on this compact console than I've found on many of the big large frame consoles for 20 to 50 times the cost of this console. So if you're looking for a lot of power packed features in a small frame console that acts like one of the big dogs, try the C3248. I think you're going to be really, really happy with it. The gigs we've used it on, I've been very impressed. My clients have been happy and we've had great results. And I look forward to doing plenty more gigs on this. And I hope to see you out there on the Carvin channel soon. And I hope to see you out in the field mixing on one of these. See you at the next shoot.